This presentation will help to understand how to use and get the best out of the microregistrar MoodleCloud.com. This website is an effort to give you most of the materials that are necessary to prepare for the FRC PETH examination in one place. You can revise and concentrate on the high-yield notes nearer the exam. High-yield notes are written based on areas favored in the examination. You can practice your knowledge in the question section, with questions similar to the examination. This website is supported by an active WhatsApp community where you can get advice and clear doubts. To access this site, type microregistrar.moodlecloud.com on your browser. Once the site is open, read the highlighted section carefully. If you agree and are willing to continue, please click on the login in the top right corner. On the next page, click the button that says, Create New Account. The next three pages will show you the privacy notice, consent, etc. Scroll down to the bottom of the page, click Next and tick the boxes, if you agree. When you reach this page, fill in your details, and click Create My New Account. Moodle will send an email to you, to the email you use to register. Go to your email and click on the link to approve your account. If you do not find the email, make sure to check your spam folder. Now log in to the website using your username and password. If you see this pop-up, close it by clicking, got it. You can access your learning material by clicking My Courses. However, if you click now you will find it is empty. This is because I have to grant you access first. Send me an email with the following information. Your name, what is your job or training stage you are in? Where are you based? When are you taking the examination and which part? The phone number you are going to use for the WhatsApp group. This information will not be shared with anyone. It will help me to know how to help you better. I shall enroll you as soon as possible if you have followed all the steps I mentioned. However, in some cases, it may take a little longer. Once you have received confirmation from me, refresh your browser or re-log and check my courses again. You will be able to see your learning materials now. Let us discuss the modules. Start with hints and tips to see suggestions on how to start preparing. Click on the red and blue buttons to access the materials. Red buttons are forums. Click on each post to read it. If you have any questions, feel free to ask on the forum. The blue button here is a page. For example, this is a guide written by an overseas microbiologist candidate with excellent preparation. The core revision module is like a book written with the exam in mind. It is divided into different sections. You can click on each section to read it. Click on a section to open it. I have opened infection control. Each section has subsections, for example, under infection control. I would now like to read the ventilation, water and decontamination subsection. Each subsection will have chapters. You can see, the ventilation, water and disinfection subsection has many chapters like endoscopy rinse water testing or theater ventilation. You can navigate the chapters using the left menu or the arrow at the right top corner. Once finished with the chapter you can come out using the left menu to choose another subsection. Or, just use your browser's back button. High Yield Notes module is written based on topics favored in the exam or most relevant to the UK infection practice. I do not recommend reading only the high yield notes. You need a more robust preparation to ensure your success. It is written like a forum. Click the red button to access it. Click on the topics to read it. If you have questions, use the forum to clear your doubts. There are some flashcards which you can test your knowledge. The MCQ module is divided into short sets. Open each section to answer the questions and read the explanatory notes. I recommend you do not spend more than one minute answering each question. The Part 2 revision modules have various sections to explore by clicking on each subsection. These subsections will be reorganized before the launch of the website. 
This is where I shall update you about recent developments. You are free to contribute as well. New article, new conference, new course, all welcome. The Core Module Forum will update you about a new post in the Core Module. You will get an email notification from this forum. If you want to use mobile, download Moodle from the Play Store or App Store. When you open the app, it will ask for your website. Use microregistrar.moodlecloud.com. Put the website name and then click Connect to your site. It will take you to the login screen. Use your username and password. The navigation of the mobile site is at the bottom. The clock icon will show you the dashboard and the modules you accessed recently. The hat will show you all the modules. Other icons have functions that we don't use now but feel free to explore. If you click a module from My Courses or Dashboard, you will see the subsections inside. Use them in a similar way as we have done for the web version. This website is still being built and expect a lot of additional materials, especially in the question sections. In future, I might add more functionality to this website if you find them useful. Thank you for listening.